फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवेंथ एट Seven elements. N elements in a row will have n plus one alternate place. Three sisters in five places can be occupied in arranging four factorial into five p three ways. For four, we'll have five alternate places. So nine places, alternate places, even places and odd places. I can say like last problem. Unit five fiction books is one unit. Four adventurous books is one unit. Total three units. Three units can be arranged in three factorial ways. For seven elements, we'll have eight alternate places. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, I'll solve some more problems of permutation and combination. That is, exercise two point one three markers. In how many ways seven students and four teachers can be seated in a row so that no two teachers are together? So no two teachers are together. so they have not given restriction for students so now seven students are there seven students ke restriction kotila so seven students can be arranged in can be arranged in seven factorial ways because no restriction and teachers should not sit together teachers should not sit together means they should come between what students so seven students means so i love yes 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 so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 for seven students allow eight alternate places see first place second place third place fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth Now, seven elements. N elements in a row will have n plus one alternate places. Now, I have to make the students, sorry, teachers, to sit in this place, T one, T two, like that. Now, these seven students can be arranged in seven factorial ways. I can place S two in the place of S one, like that. Seven factorial ways, no restriction. But teachers, there is restriction. They should not sit together. So, they should not sit together. Means they should be between students. So, between students means alternate places. Alternate places will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For seven elements, will have eight alternate places. So, teachers can sit in. Can sit. In we have how many places? Eight alternate places. So therefore, total number of ways is total number of ways or total number of arrangement is for seven students no restriction seven factorial. But for how many teachers? We have four teachers. Four teachers I can place them in eight places in eight p four ways. Eight places, eight alternate places. Four teachers, eight p four ways. Seven factorial into eight p four is the answer. You can leave it here, or you can simplify this also. Seven factorial, seven into six into five into four into three into two into one. Eight p four means eight into seven into six into five. Four terms and expand it or leave it. This is the answer. Seven students, no restrictions. You can arrange them in seven factorial. But four teachers, they should not sit together. So they should come in alternate places. For seven students, we have eight alternate places. In eight places, you can place four teachers in eight PR. All of you know the meaning of n PR. What is meant by n PR? N places are things. N places are things can be arranged in n PR ways. I have eight places and four teachers, so eight P four ways. Seven factorial into eight P four. Then, how many ways can seven books of arts? Five books of fiction, four books of adventures can be arranged so that the books of same category are always together. So means seven art books. Make it as one unit, one unit, and uh, how many five fiction books? Five fiction books. Make it as Make it as one more unit. I'll call this as one unit because they're together. Means I'll call it as one unit. And uh, four adventurous books. Four adventurous books is equal to one unit. Total how many I have? One plus one plus one three. 
So now total number of ways, total number of arrangements, arrangements is seven art books as one unit, five fiction books as one unit, four adventurous books as one unit, total three units. Three units can be arranged in three factorial ways. And in that, the first unit, that is seven art books, separately I can arrange them as seven factorial ways. Five fiction books can be arranged in five factorial ways. And four adventurous can be arranged in four factorial. So, three factorial into seven factorial into five factorial into four factorial. You can expand and multiply or leave it. They want just logic or aptitude. So, this is the answer. In your exercise also, they'll give the same answer. Means they'll not expand this. Next. Five men and four women are to be seated in rows so that women occupy even places. Women occupy even places. How many possible arrangements are there? So I have uh, five men and four women. So total nine are there. Nine people. So I have uh, total nine people. So nine places. One, two, three, four. So I have uh, nine places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine people, nine places are there. In that, in that, they want, they have given restriction. Women occupy even places. Women should occupy uh, either second, fourth, sixth, eighth. So please understand, women should occupy even places. How many even places are there? We have one, two, three, four. So out of four places, I have four even places are there. How many women? I have See, women should occupy even place means I have four women. Four women in four places can be arranged in. So, therefore, four women in four places. Four places means even places. Even I have only four places. That is four even places. Can be arranged in. Can be arranged in. Four P, four ways. Four P, four ways. But five men, four women, four P, four ways, and five men, the so remaining places men can occupy. I have five men. Five men can occupy how many places are there? One, two, three, four, five. So five men, five men occupies remaining places, remaining five places in 5p5 ways. So therefore, total number of ways is total number of arrangements is equal to 4p4 into 5p5. You know 4p4 is 4 factorial, 5p5 is 5 factorial, expand it. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 multiply 4 3 is 12 2 is 24 into this will become 24 into 5 1 extra that is 24 into 5 4 is 22 5 2 is 10 10 plus 2 12 140 so simplify this you will get 2880 so 4 factorial into 5 factorial are total number of ways is 2880 2880 then find the number of ways in which four boys and five girls are arranged so that no two boys sit together, no two girls sit together. Simply speaking, they are in alternate places. So, no two boys sit together. And no two boys, no two girls sit together means what? Sit together means, means they should occupy alternate places. They should occupy alternate places. Alternate places. So therefore, I have 
total nine places nine places in nine places for four we'll have five alternate places so nine places alternate places even places and odd places i can say like last problem so i'll take uh, first four boys four boys can be arranged in 4p4 ways five girls can be arranged in 5p5 total number of ways is total number of ways is 4p4 into 5p5 that is 4 factorial into 5 factorial that will give you 2880 one another same see here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 places in the nine places i can place the boys in this places i have four boys 1 2 3 4 positions and like that alternate position same like last case next find the number of permutations of the letters of the word mathematics see in the word mathematics in the word the word mathematics how many letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 11 letters are there and in that 11 how many things repeated a repeated twice two times and A repeated two times. What about uh, T? T repeated how many times? Two times. T occurs two times. E sorry, T occurs two times. So I have ticked it. E occurs two times. So whatever say so you know, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Out of eleven letters, E occurs two times. T occurs two times. No other element repeats. So total number of permutations. Total number of permutations. Total number of words you can form that can be formed with or without meaning is n factorial divided by means total number of letters factorial. There are two things: p factorial, q factorial. N means 11 factorial divided by a occurs two times. That's why two factorial. T occurs two times. That's why two factorial. This is the answer: 11 factorial by two factorial into two factorial. Anything repeats that comes as denominator. If no letter is repeated, only we'll have numerator. N means what? Number of letters. How many letters are there? 11 letters. 11 letters can be arranged in 11 factorial ways, but A occurred two times two factorial. T occurred two times two factorial. Then, a family of four brothers and three sisters is to be arranged for a photograph in one row. How many ways? So all sisters are together. So four brothers, no restriction. So four brothers can be arranged in four factorial. But they told all sisters sit together. So all sisters, you take it as one unit. So now all sisters, you take as what one unit. So now four brothers plus how many sisters are there? Three sisters. Three sisters take it as what one unit. So therefore, total four plus one that is five factorial ways. In that again, three sisters can be arranged in three factorial ways. So total we have. Five factorial into three factorial ways. Second part: no two sisters sit together. So sisters should occupy alternate places. For four brothers, for four brothers, we'll have five alternate places. One, two, three, four, five. So sisters should sit. Uh, no two sisters should should sit together. So there is no restriction for brothers. So brothers. But sisters should occupy what alternate places? For four brothers can occupy four factorial ways. 
But how many sisters? Three sisters. I have one, five places. Three sisters in five places can be occupied in arranging four factorial into five p three ways. If you want, you can simplify or leave it. Four brothers in arranged in four factorial ways. Three sisters in five alternate places because they should not sit together. So they should occupy alternate places. For four brothers, we'll have five alternate places. In five places, three sisters you can place. So in five p three ways. So total answer is four factorial into five p three. For first part and second part, I have answered it. I hope all of you understood this. Sit and practice. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.